Hello everybody, this is Christina with Tatter Rose Studios and I uh, just wanted to share with you um, a day book that I made this afternoon. Um, I made it so I could use it for my December daily, um, which I'm doing with um, the, my Smashaholic friends on Facebook and my um, the Delight Daybook um, group on Facebook. And um, so this is my um, December daily day book that I just made. Um, this paper is actually like a thick, um, almost like a handmade paper. And um, I found it in a 12 by 12 at Michael's today. And um, so I thought it'd be perfect for Christmas because it's white and I'm more in the snow theme. So. Um, with my cover. So um, this is um, the cover. I'm going to be adding some words and the year 2012 on it. I just haven't done that yet as I just finished making this um, a little bit ago. And then I just did the hand sewn stitching on the side that I um, learned on the Ustream show with Drew um, for Prima. So and that I've done this stitching twice now. Um, let's see where's the other one I made, um, and it, it came out really well. I think you can probably see it better on this one, and it, it turns out really good. Um, this is how it looks on the inside, nice and clean, and then um, nice and clean on the outside as well with a little bow. So. And you don't have to um, struggle with your sewing machine. So that is how I put this together. This one's obviously a lot thicker than the other one I just showed you, but um, let me show you the inside. Um, the paper collection that I used for this is, um, let's see, I got it today. It was 40% off at Michael's. Um, it's the Kane Company paper. Um, where is the name? What is it called? Specialty paper. Um, I picked this one because Kane Company is double sided, which is great for day books. Um, this is specialty paper, that's all it says. But this is the one that I picked. Really, really super cute. And I found in my scraps a couple extra little pieces as well. I'll let you know which one those are. So you open the book. This is just um, a little white shipping tag with a little red heart paper clip. This is one from my scraps, so this is not in the paper collection. This one's from the paper collection. Um, this is just a little polka dot vellum piece. A little um, tag from a, another paper collection that I had. Um, I don't know if it says on here. It doesn't say, but it's just a whole bunch of these. I forget what paper collection that's from. This is, um, most of this is all from the paper collection. This is from the paper collection. And I love how it's double sided. It makes it a lot more easier to make day books with that. And um, some of these are, um, like this one's kind of um, foil paper. It's got foil, glitter, and regular ones all in this, in this paper stack. Um, this one is from the paper collection. I just um, cut the trim off to make it scalloped. This is um, a part of a large sh um, shipping tag. Um, it already had holes in it, so I went ahead and stuck little ribbon through it. Um, again, this is from the paper collection right here. This is, um, I love this um, embossed polka dot cardstock from Michaels. I don't know what brand it is, but um, I do love that. So I have that with my little scalloped edge that I used this punch on. And this is from the paper collection. A little um, doily. Another one of the um, embossed 
polka dot paper in red with the same um, scalloped edge. This one's from the paper collection as well. And so is this one, it's kind of a shimmery page. And this one, I actually folded in half and made into a pocket and I used my sewing machine and on my sewing machine I have this cute little snowflake stitch so I did that to stitch and make um, a little pocket. Um, this little piece I found in my, in my scraps. This little foil piece is from the paper collection. Um, I found this in my scraps and I just did some standard stitching on it. Um, this is from the paper collection. Um, here's some more of that um, embossed polka dot paper that I um, used my edge dot my edge die. I used this one. Um, this is um, another one from my scraps and I just did some stitching on it. A little envelope. So that's the center of the book. So now you go back to having um, the other side of this one and the other side of this one. Basically the same on both sides. Here's the other um, half of the one I made with the pocket. And this one I added a little um, heart paper clip. So everything's just in reverse now. Here's the other end to that large shipping tag. And I had another hole in it, so I just added some more ribbon. Another, the other half of the little ticket and the vellum. And there's that, and the other half of that last, that little tag. So that is, I tried finding some acetate paper that had like a snowflake design on it or something Christmassy, but I couldn't find anything. So I just happened to get the clear, the plain one. And then I had bought this for 99 cents at Michael's and added that to the cover. Like I said, I'll have some writing on there when I um, go to work on this book for my um, December daily. But hope you like it, and um, yeah, that's it. Hope you like it, and I can't wait to hear your comments. And um, it's fun making these. So if anybody um, wants to order one of these through my website, um, you can. I have lots of this paper collection left over so I can totally make you guys one um, just let me know um, and my website's tatterrowstudios.com so if you want to order a Christmas themed one this is perfect um, if not there's other themes um, anything you any theme that you choose um, just uh, let me know and that's the kind I'll make so talk to you guys later bye